believe they're called enforcers, Gordon. I sell women's shoes. And the stallion. Stallion, baby! I am not what you would call a handsome man. I'll kick you in the nuts and you'll smile at me and like it. All night Welcome back to the All Night Long Wrestling Podcast. We are your hosts. I am the Enforcer. He is the Stallion. Welcome back, fella. Thanks for having me yeah, back. No, no problem. It's, uh, I, I almost just spilled an uh, entire glass of ice cold water onto your laptop. So it would yep. have been a really short episode. It would have been because the uh, all night would have been electrocuted <laughs> and my house would have gone up in flames. Because there's a lot of things <laughs> pulled into an electrical outlet. <laughs> it seems like a slight over-exaggeration, but that's... Um, really, what water <laughs> and electrical outlets are not usually a good combination. I'm no, you know, uh, chemist, okay. but uh, you know, Do chem- water and electronics, not usually a good mix. Tim Allen, yeah, Al Borland, Al Borland, yeah. good old Al Borland. Then he was on uh, what show was that? Family Feud, and then yeah. Louis Anderson was on Family Richard Feud. Richard Carn, wow. his name. No, no, <laughs> and now uh, Steve Harvey's on there. Yeah, and it all came full circle. Sure. Two minutes and two seconds in, we're scraping the barrel already. What's up? We're back. We're gonna. There's a lot going on this week. We're gonna talk about uh, Slammiversary, the Impact Wrestling Slammiversary. Don't you dare say TNA, Joe. Don't you dare say it. Uh, Slammiversary 15 on Sunday. We're gonna talk a little bit about last week's Ring of Honor Best in the World pay per view. And we're also going to talk about a little, uh, some, I, I, what did you call it, rumblings that are going on in the world of WWE. Some people say rumblings, other people say a little breaking news. Lay it on us, Joe. I know you're up, uh, you know, you know what's going on. Tell me what's happening. The insider lingo? The insider, insider lingo. Let's use words like uh, work and shoot and Broadway. Broadway. It's good. We uh, So, over the last day or two, and a lot of this comes out of one Dave Meltzer's newsletter. So I should put that oh, out there. God. That's what, as far as the source... Why is that the reaction? I don't... He's a mark. He's... No. So, and the talk and the news, I guess, is about SummerSlam and then beyond SummerSlam into WrestleMania 34, I believe, is next year, correct? So I stopped at 6. That's because the Hulk lost. Is that why? Because the Hulkster, <laughs> the vitamins and the prayers. Yeah, and so did my dreams. Yeah. All down the drain. Okay. It was a good run. <laughs> so the original rumored plan for SummerSlam and then WrestleMania was... With Brock Lesnar being the universal champion, he would keep that championship for a full year, and Ugh. eventually, fa- sorry, eventually face um, Roman Reigns at WrestleMania 34. And the plan for Brock at SummerSlam was that he was going to face Braun Strowman. These are the rumors, right? I don't. This isn't obviously confirmed in any way. I have no. Connections in uh, world wrestling entertainment. Oh, don't so. listen, Tom. Out. Don't I know people this. that work there, but they don't. They don't spill the storylines to me. I don't have that that level of connections. So. Well, we could have known somebody that worked there. We could have known somebody on the inside. Instead, he was a selfish bastard and didn't take a job. Oh, oh, Kyle, just because he drive to Connecticut. Boo hoo, man up, not up or shut up. You want to be Vinnie Mac's right arm? Okay, That's, take a take a pay cut. This is insider stuff right here. This is insider this stuff. Is so anyway, that was... Oh, I the, need a job, and I gotta pay for stuff. Cool guy here, Mr. Sexy Pants. Mm-hmm. I'm still not over that. That could have been an hour in. You could have been booking Raw right now. Would have been so much better than stuff I'm Sorry, I'm just... Can I finish my anecdote? Yeah, I just met it Kyle. Okay. Okay. No, I understand. Brings up. It's justified. That was... Uh, so that was, that was the plan. So... The assumption, I guess, would be that if Lesnar was facing Strowman at SummerSlam, that he would retain the championship and then keep it until facing Roman Reigns at WrestleMania. Well, anyway, the news coming out the last day or so is that now the plans for SummerSlam and WrestleMania 
may have changed or been altered. Uh oh. So there is, I guess, a rumor or a thought that the Reigns Lesnar match will be moved up to SummerSlam uh, in August, and that if Roman Reigns were to win that and bring the Universal Championship back on to Raw um, on a weekly basis. Obviously now it's not on the show every week with Lesnar only making sporadic appearances. And not even carrying the belt when he does, but whatever. No, he wore it to the ring this week around his waist like a real man. Yeah, but he didn't have one he got out of the car. Maybe it was in his bags. Maybe, Maybe he keeps it safe in a safe place. Right next to It's worth so much. Right next to the stuff. I don't know what that means. <laughs> He didn't fail any wellness violations in WWE. So as far as I'm <laughs> concerned, he's everything's he's on the up clean. and up. He's clean. So that would be so that that's the rumor, I guess, is that they would have potentially move up the Roman Reigns Brock Lesnar match to SummerSlam. And hypothetically, I guess Roman Reigns would win that um, and keep the, and hold on to the championship and potentially face uh, free agent John Cena. That's his full name. <laughs> at uh, WrestleMania 34 now, so that's that's the potential alternative plan uh, that we've been hearing. So it could be one or the other, or something completely different. This is just what's coming out of of Dave Meltzer's newsletter, um, and it's been reported on several several internet wrestling news sites over the last 24 hours or so. Because um, Meltzer's newsletter comes out on Wednesdays, I believe. So we're doing this on Thursday, the 29th of June. So, what are your thoughts on? You know, I guess the original plan, the potential change, do you feel like one is better than the other? Um, do you think they're right to alter their plans, or should they stick with the original? I guess, what, what's your thoughts on, on all that? Uh, man, it's a lot to take in. Uh, my thoughts on a Roman Reigns universal title reign? I think there's, unless it's going to be a full-on heel title reign. Which I mean, he's really starting to teeter that whole teeter the, the the heel line with his his promos. But then he got destroyed this week. Was this week he got destroyed? All Raws are kind of falling into one week. The right. one where Braun chucked him into the ambulance. Yeah, that was this week. That was this week. Yeah. So and Braun got the biggest babyface pop since uh, I don't know um, Donald Trump at WrestleMania. <laughs> Interesting choice. <laughs> So uh, I don't think it's the right move. I mean, if you're going to go Cena versus Roman Reigns at Mania, at least the crowd's going to have to cheer for one of them. And I think, feel like in that situation, it would be John Cena. Yeah. I feel like John Cena would be far more over than uh, Roman Reigns would be. And maybe that'll take, you know, you're kind of putting two of the guys that people don't want to see win against each other. So somebody's going to be happy. Somebody's going to be sad. But that's going to free up some other matches. Um, I don't know... Uh, I don't know. I, I think you gotta you kind of ride with Samoa Joe. I think he's he's hot. You know, he's hot right now. He's people are buying into him as a killer. He's choking out Lesnar. He's destroying Paul Heyman. He's sounding creepy in interviews. I, I think Samoa Joe should be the guy to take it off of Brock Lesnar if you're gonna do that and have great balls of fire be the place to do it. Hmm. Interesting. That's interesting. So you think that Joe should win at Great Balls of Fire, and then what would you do? At SummerSlam and then Mania next year, how would you let that all play out? With Joe or with Lesnar? Well, well, let's say the championship of itself, right? Because essentially, these most of this stuff revolves around the title. If we're going to go that route, if their plan is if they're going to move up the Reigns Lesnar match to SummerSlam, that's for the championship, and then Reigns would, in theory, probably win that, and then it would be Reigns and Cena at WrestleMania, which I would assume the the Universal Championship would be on the line there too. So, what would you do, I guess, with the championship at SummerSlam and then? WrestleMania. I think if Joe is going to beat Lesnar now, you'd have to do the rematch at um, you do the Joe Lesnar rematch at SummerSlam, and then honestly, I don't even know what you you could do Joe Lesnar Reigns at Mania in a triple threat match. But I, I think if Roman is going to wrestle John Cena at any point, they don't, neither of those guys need the title, and that's more of like a legacy match. As early as it is in Roman's career, I think it's more of like a legacy thing. And I don't think the title needs to be involved in that. But um, I think you need to get like a guy like Finn Balor. I think he needs to be going towards WrestleMania in the title picture. Um, whether that's in a triple threat match with 
Joe and Lesnar, whether or I think there's a lot of money behind um, Finn Balor and Lesnar one on one. I think that you know Finn Balor would have to summon the demon to conquer you know the the beast Brock Lesnar if you don't want to put the title on Joe. But I don't think it's smart to keep the title on Lesnar from now until Mania if he's going to be on the show every six weeks. Every other week, it's one thing, you know, and distance makes the heart grow fonder. But, I mean, we went like a solid three months without him even defending or showing up on TV, and people didn't care about the belt. So I think if Lesnar, if the plan is for Lesnar to be the champion until Mania, then I do hope that changes. But if he's going to stay the champion, he's going to make some appearances and defend the title, I think that's that's another story. So I think... um, if he's going to go away, then you put the belt on Joe. If he's going to stay around, you keep the belt on him, and you have him and Balor at Mania. That's my prediction. It's not my prediction. It's what I would like to have happen. Okay. My prediction is uh, Cena wins. What's LOL. The, LOL. <laughs> well, it's the question. Cena wins. I feel like I'm playing Jeopardy. Hmm. But what about you, buddy? What would you do? Because you're you're a big fan of the of of the Lesnar. You know, you love Roman Reigns. Mark for Dean Ambrose. Why don't you go Lesnar, Reigns, Ambrose, triple threat? Those things are the only part that's true is the Lesnar part, right? You realize that's that's all false. Yeah, but I think you could. I think you could do Lesnar versus it. Didn't Lesnar wrestle Ambrose at WrestleMania? Uh, He did at uh, thirty-two. That sucked. Hmm. I'm glad that you uh, have such fond recollections of that match. That's. uh, I just wish Lesnar wasn't afraid to bump for Lunatic Fringe. I'm just kidding. I'm just, you know what? I don't even want to. I don't even want to start. I feel like that's. Yeah, I don't even want to start just, a six-star conversation right now. I just want you to give your opinion. I, I'm really interested to hear this. So let's go. What do you got? Well, I. I do prefer having the champion on the show um, on a weekly basis, or at least having him available to be on the show on a weekly basis. So, I would not have a problem with them taking the title off of Brock Lesnar. By SummerSlam, so I, I'm okay with that. I think what I would probably do. And Sorry, I'm just, to by SummerSlam or at SummerSlam? Probably at SummerSlam. Okay, gotcha. I don't think I would have great balls of fire be the moment. You know? No, I don't think I. Would, yeah, I wouldn't do that. I, what I'd probably do if I'm trying to play it out long term is I would probably have Joe and Lesnar go to some sort of Broadway. Yeah, some sort of draw finish, right? Where they just destroy each other and there's like craziness or whatever and there's no there's no winner. And then at SummerSlam, I would probably do a triple threat with Lesnar, Joe, and Reigns. And I would have I would probably have Joe beat Reigns to win the title. That way Lesnar doesn't take any sort of pinfall loss in the match. Which then you could then go back to Lesnar and Joe at a later point if you wanted to. And I think ultimately what you would do with the title then is let Joe keep it for maybe four or five, six months. And you can have Reigns eventually overcome and beat Joe because he's never beaten him, right? He's lost him twice, I think, in singles matches on Raw. And in my potential plan here, he would lose to him in the triple threat. You could have maybe Reigns beat Joe at the Rumble and then Reigns have the title at WrestleMania if he defends against Cena or something like that. Okay. Um that's probably what I would do with that. Uh, as far as, like, so if you had, let's say, that plays out and you had Reigns and, and Cena at Mania, then you could probably go back to doing, um, you could do Lesnar and Joe again, or you could do Lesnar and Strowman at WrestleMania next year, since they would have held off on that and not gone to it. Um, you can do something along those lines. You can do Strowman and Joe. You can do Strowman and Reigns again. You can do all these different combinations of things. That's probably how I would play it out with those guys over the next like six to eight months. Because I, I think Joe's done a, night, a good enough job where you can make a case for him. You're putting the title on him at this point because he's he's hot enough, right? And if he doesn't take a loss against Lesnar, if you do a draw and then you have him win at SummerSlam and Triple Threat and be the champion, he would basically be almost like an unstoppable guy for many, many months, and then if their plan is just to get the title on Reigns anyway, then you can maybe do that at the Rumble and have Reigns be the, that be the time where he overcomes the whole thing. I think the only thing that stinks about the, that plan or the one... 